Hey guys, welcome to Cats Out The Bag. Make sure to subscribe and if you want to watch the whole thing, you can watch it on YouTube or listen on Spotify. Hello guys, it's me Robin. Welcome back to my podcast. Welcome back to Cats Out The Bag. Happy Thursday everyone. How is everybody doing? What's everybody up to on this lovely Thursday? Currently. It's actually a Thursday while I'm filming this as well, which is always good. And it's quite a nice Thursday, nice and sunny. Already had two lectures today, so I'm not too sure about that, but we're making it work. Um, it's currently half past one on my Thursday. Don't know when you're listening to this. It might not even be a Thursday you're listening to this. But I have just uploaded the podcast for last week, so if you haven't listened to that, then definitely would recommend that you do, because, you know, there's not an order to all of these, but it's always nice to listen to them consecutively, or I think it is anyway, I don't know about you, but um, I have a really exciting podcast today I'm going to be doing a dilemmas podcast which I haven't actually done before so I'm really really excited for this um I have quite a few dilemmas which I'm really excited to like try and solve these are all like relationship dilemmas so I'm thinking these kinds of videos will uh sorry not videos podcasts will probably be the longer ones just because I I tend to like ramble on a lot and I feel like I probably would ramble on quite a fair bit with um, dilemmas. I mean, look, I'm already rambling on already. It's been nearly two minutes of this podcast and I haven't even started, but yeah. So these ones will generally probably be more like an hour, I reckon, I'm not sure. We will see how it goes. But, so for now, I'm gonna be filming the relationship dilemmas. So I'm really excited for this. I might actually start a little vlog, I don't know what anyone thinks about that but I know I'm quite excited to be honest um so yeah should we get into this so I actually do have a question so I think I'm going to do like I don't know if I'll do like weekly questions or if I'll do like um the Mevry Dilemmas podcast I'm not sure depends how many subscribers I can get because I don't know if I'll actually get <laughs> enough to make enough questions for every single week but I have actually put a little question on my Instagram which if you aren't following it's cats out the bag um I think it's got three t's yeah cats out the bag with three t's currently on nine followers so let's get that one up shall we um but yeah I'm really really excited for this podcast so the question of this week was are white lies acceptable in a relationship now what do you think the percentage was yes and no well <laughs> let's just see if you are correct so it was 33% said yes and 67 said no I thought a lot more people would say yes that they were acceptable I personally I don't know I struggle a bit with this it's a difficult one because I don't like the idea of um like someone lying to me even if it is a white lie um I don't like it like if they're lying about where they are or what they're doing like why are they lying you know so I don't like the idea of that at all um I'm surprised so many people said no so for the people who said yes like I get it like if it's something like, um, I'm trying to think of like a little white lie that actually wouldn't mean anything. I actually, yeah, okay, I'm a bit yes and no with this one because yes, I think white lies are acceptable if it's like coming up to Christmas or something and you're trying to plan something for someone. I think that's absolutely acceptable. Like I would want to be lied to if I was getting a cool surprise, you know. Um, but again, like... I don't know it's just a bit like it gets a bit suspicious because if you can lie about something really small then you can probably lie about something a bit bigger I'm not one to lie I'm not very good at it like <laughs> I guess that's a good thing <laughs> but I'm really really bad at lying so I can't I can't lie at all um which is good but so I just 
I don't know, I just would struggle if someone was lying to me, so I'd be like, well, why? Like, just be honest, come on. Um, so, I'm not sure about that one, I really don't know how to go about that, because I wouldn't want to be lied to, but I feel like a lot of people do lie to their significant others, um, especially about little things. Like, I'm trying to think of something that would be really little that people would lie about a lot. Um, I don't know. Maybe like um, if they were going out or something and someone was like, oh, are you? Um, did anyone buy you a drink or something and they didn't want anyone to know that they bought them a drink and they'd just be like, oh no. I guess, is that a white lie or is that like a big lie though? I don't really know. Hmm, I'm not sure to be honest. But I think, what are they called? Black lies? Is that a thing? Or is it just like big lies? <laughs> um, um, Anyway, that was the question of this week. So, yeah, anyway, maybe let me know what you think about the whole, like, questions. I don't know what to call that, though. Like, and if you want to get involved, definitely go on to my um, Instagram because that's where they all are and you can, like, get involved in the questions and, like, you can ask. If you, like, DM me any questions that you have, then I can, um, like, use those ones. Uh, yeah, which would always be helpful for me because I cannot think of them. I think I've got like six that I've thought of and that's it. But anyway, I hope everyone's having a really nice week. Before I get into this podcast, I would just like to have a little chat about like, I might do these like, you know what, I might do a whole podcast just on like chatty, like, you know, just chatting because that seems to be what I do. I talk a lot. So, um, yeah. Anyway, no, I'll save that for another podcast, shall we? I was going to say, I've just, like, you know, had a chaotic week at uni. It's been a bit crazy. I've done, like, a lot. Like, I've had so many assessments and exams. I was just like, oh, my God, I can't actually keep up with it all. Like, the amount of tasks that I have is actually a joke. I didn't think that uni would be, like, that full on that quickly. Like, obviously, I knew, like, I'm doing a degree. It's going to be a bit hectic. But, like... I mean, I've been here for two weeks and it's literally been crazy. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get on to the dilemmas because that's why everyone's here. I feel like everyone will always skip like the first 10 minutes of my podcast because I am generally quite a chatty person. I do like to talk a lot. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get into the podcast. So, by the way, if you're watching on um, YouTube, then, <clears throat> and if you're wondering where my jumper's from, it's Uhu. I get a lot of questions when I wear things with a bit of colour, and I feel like this is really cute, so yeah, if you're wondering, it's Uhu. I'm definitely, I've got a lecture at five to six, so I'm definitely going to wear the full tracksuit when I go out to my lecture, because I'm going to be freezing cold, so I'm going to wear that. Um, it's quite a bit of colour, but, you know, a bit of colour never hurt anyone, did it? Um, anyway. Let's get into it. So, my partner and I broke up because he realised he doesn't feel ready to fully commit to a relationship at the moment. What should I do? He said he'd hit me up when he feels ready to fully commit because currently he doesn't want a relationship with anyone. We love each other a fair lot and I'm willing to wait for him to make up his mind and get back together as unbearable as the wait is. Oh, you know what? Personally, I just get really big red flag there. Like, I just, you know, really, really big red flag just then. Because it kind of feels like he's just kind of... I don't want to be the one to tell you this, but it kind of looks like he's looking for a way out and just doesn't have the balls to tell you. That's kind of how I feel. Like, I don't know. I could be completely wrong, but it kind of feels like he's just trying to find an easy way out of the relationship. He's like, oh, yeah, I'll let you know when I'm, like back to myself and um want to commit or anything but I just don't buy it personally I don't know if that's just me but I wouldn't be listening to him he doesn't sound like he actually wants 
to be with you. I know that sounds so horrible and I feel disgusting that I've had to be the one to say that. <gasps> oh, but I don't know, it kind of feels like that's the easy way out for him. I don't know if I'm just, I might just be completely wrong. If he is like wanting to wait and you actually want to wait as well, then I guess you could wait out a little bit, but I wouldn't put yourself like away from anyone else, if that makes sense. Like don't go, if another guy asked you out, for example, I wouldn't be saying, oh no, like I'm waiting for someone because I think that's where it gets a bit like, oh, you know, like you don't want to end up losing out on seeing someone because he's like, he's like basically keeping you on hold, which isn't nice. He's just wait. He's making you wait around and hasn't, has he given a reason? Um, has he given a reason? Because he doesn't feel ready to commit. Like, he's literally making you wait around for no reason. Like, not ready to commit? Well, how long have you guys been together? Like, if he's not ready to commit, why did he get, him, get with you? Like, and you've already broken up. So, I don't, I feel like he's got what he wants in a horrible way. I feel like he has actually got what he wants because it seems like he just wanted an easy way out of the relationship and he's got that because you're not together so that is kind of how it seems um i don't know i feel really horrible saying it but it kind of i don't know i'm getting huge red flags from that uh, i'd say your best bet is to move on and like maybe see your friends a bit more um, and you'll end up meeting someone who actually wants to commit to you who's more like age appropriate like I mean I always find people always say to find someone who is actually like on the same level as you like maturity level you've got to go like three years older than you so I don't know I just I wouldn't wait around personally if he loved you that much, he wouldn't be hesitating to commit to you. Like, I know it sounds horrible, but that is just how it is. Like, he just wouldn't be, he wouldn't be telling you that he doesn't want to commit. He'd be like, oh my God, let's get married, you know? <laughs> okay, that might be a bit far, but he would be happy to be with you, you know? So, yeah, I feel really awful. Like, that's horrible that you've even got to think like that, you know? But at least it happened i want to say soon into your relationship but i don't actually know um at least it happened now rather than happening in who knows like imagine this happened in three years time and has and you were like oh let's talk about getting married or something and he was like huh what like you just wouldn't want that um so i would thank him <laughs> you know he saved you a lot of waiting around ironically because he told you to wait around but I don't know I feel like it's all gonna work out for you and everything will be just fine um so yeah anyway definitely work on developing your own like like self-esteem basically because if you feel like you have to wait around for him it's a bit shit it's like wow he's actually got what he wanted there like you don't want that um Anyway, I'm going to move on to the next dilemma. So, um, my ex-girlfriend who dumped me. Oh, this is a boy dilemma. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my ex-girlfriend who dumped me wants to give our relationship another try. I don't know if I'm ready. What should I do? I'd say no. Like, you're obviously not ready. The fact that your gut has told you you're not ready means you're not ready, you know? It's as simple as that. If you're getting messages from, like... <sighs> If it's that clear in your head that you just don't feel ready, then I wouldn't throw yourself into it because also X, like X is an X for a reason. I know I say this a lot, but I feel like why would you stay with an X or sorry, get back with an X? I just, I don't know about that. It just, I don't think I ever could do that. It feels a bit like, um, I don't know, maybe she wants something, it's really difficult. Um, anyway, 
I don't know what I would do personally in that situation. Like, how did she even approach that? Did she come and message you and be like, did she, Leia, yeah, did she message you? Did she talk to you in person? Like, how does that situation even present itself? I wish I had like more information because I'd love to know like, oh, like how does that even, how does she go about saying that, oh yeah, by the way, like I want to get back with you. That's so good. I couldn't have that conversation with anyone. Um, but yeah, I'd say short answer, no. Like there's no point in getting hurt again. I don't know if you were hurt before to be honest like you might not have been hurt but I feel like it's just not a smart thing ever to get back with an ex um sometimes people do things which makes you view them differently and you've said you're not ready I don't know if I'm ready I would just be like no like my gut is telling me no sometimes it just works out that way that you've broken up maybe you were distraught at the time because she broke up with you but it's worked out well because now you can like focus on yourself for a bit well she's dumped you and she's clearly missing out um what I'd probably do is just tell her that I'm not ready because you don't want to be really rude you don't want to come across rude do you so I'd probably just say like look I'm sorry I'm really not ready don't even say sorry it's not an apology you don't need to apologize to her i just say look i'm not ready to jump back into this maybe you are but i'm not at that point in my life where i can just forgive you for what you've done or i mean maybe she didn't actually do anything i don't actually know really do i but i'm just assuming that she's done something but um if your ex dumped you because it was something that you did then I'd be like oh okay she's coming back to me like fair enough but then I wouldn't get back to her because you need you need more time don't you like I just don't think it's fair on her if you were to get back together if you'd done something unfaithful because then it's like she still clearly loves you but couldn't forgive you for what you did because obviously you broke up and it's a bit of a difficult one really I think um I'm not really sure how to go about that one to be honest I'm not the best when it comes to advice when I don't know the whole story I feel like it's a shame that I can't ask <laughs> uh, that would kind of defeat the object of the anonymity 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 the anonymity is that a word? Hmm. I don't know um my girlfriend and I got into a fight and now her parents won't let me talk to her. Are they wrong to block me? Uh, right, they're her parents. I don't know how old you guys are. Um, they are her parents though, so at the end of the day it's their choice if you're allowed in their house or not. But I don't know why they're not letting you talk to her. That's a bit out of order. It's not really their um, place to say if you can or can't talk to your girlfriend. Like, I'm sure that her and her that her parents have had arguments before, you know? I don't think that's really fair of them to just stop letting you talk to her. But then again, it's like, if you're trying to go into their house, then it's a bit different because that's their house. It's their rules in their house. Fair enough. But mm, I'm not sure about that one, you know? sounds like this isn't a major argument though because you just said got into a fight like if it was like a major argument you wouldn't have just been like oh we got into a fight you'd have been like oh we've broken off or something like <clears throat> if you've cheated on her i get where her parents are coming from i would not ever want someone who has cheated on my daughter in my house that's just how it is they're not coming in my house if they've cheated on my daughter absolutely not if they've really hurt her they're not coming in my house so if you've done something absolutely unforgivable I actually completely get where they're coming from but again it's not really their place like it's kind of your daughter's place isn't it your daughter, your daughter. it's your girlfriend's place to decide if she wants to see you or not 
she might well have actually said to her parents, like, can you just, if he comes to the door, don't let him in. Like, I don't want to speak to him. And if she's done that, then I think you just need to give her some space. And eventually, <coughs> eventually she'll want to talk to you. Like, if it is just her parents being parents, then she's obviously going to at some point be like, um, mum, I need to talk to him. Like, I want to talk to my boyfriend. So I wouldn't worry about that. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like maybe you should apologise to her parents. I was in two minds about saying that just then, but if they're really pissed off at you, that might actually be the best thing to do. I don't know if that's something. It, I just don't know how old you are. If you're like 14, then like apologising to the parents. I mean, you would look good to the parents um, if you apologised to them. They'd be like, oh wow, you've got mature boy hair. But then again, you don't really, I mean, I would just say something along the lines of like, um, oh, I feel really like bad that I've hurt your daughter's feelings. We just got into a bit of a fight and um, I'm really sorry for coming around here. I'm not trying to barge in, but I'd really appreciate if I could talk to her and then say to them, like, I'm really sorry for assuming that everything would be okay or something. And they might be like, oh, don't worry, sweetheart. Like, if you actually know her, I say her because it's normally the mum, isn't it? But if you actually know them well, then it might go down quite well, you're apologising. I'd like to know how that one turns out, to be honest. I don't know about that, though. That's a really difficult one. I don't know why they think it's their choice to call the shots there. But I feel like it's not. Um, it's a difficult one because, I mean, you obviously both love her very, very much, don't you? Like the parents and you. And you're probably both just like, like they're not going to be happy if someone's waking their daughter unhappy. It's just how it is. <clears throat> like they'll be thinking their daughter deserves the absolute world and more. Um, oh, I don't know, it's a really difficult one. Some of these dilemmas are really confusing anyway. Right. <clears throat> Is there anything you can do to unattract someone who's already attracted to you? This one isn't really like a dilemma, is it? But what? Why do you want to unattract someone? That's strange. Unless you have a boyfriend. Again, I need more context. I don't think you can attract unattract anyone unless you're just really, really horrible to them, which isn't a very nice approach, but no, I was going to say that might have to be the approach, but I don't think you should do that. What I'd personally do is every time they like speak, I just wouldn't react as much to what they're saying. So if someone was like, oh my God, Robin, like, should we, oh, I don't know, I'm trying to think of something. If someone came up to me and was like being really, really nice and then they were like, oh my God, hey Robin, like, oh, you look so amazing, all of this. And I'd just probably be like, oh, thank you. Like, it's nice to see you rather than being like, oh my god, thank you so, so much, because then they're going to keep doing it, like, you don't want to bring it up too much, and I'd probably try and cut the conversation a bit short, so, like, say you're on your way somewhere, and they've, like, stopped to chat to you, I'd probably be like, right, I've got to go, and then if you just see them less and less, then they'll probably end up finding someone else who's actually interested in them, you know, um, but I don't really know, I mean, you could end up you, you actually could end up just finding someone else, like, sorry, they could end up finding someone else who's interested in them because they'll stop looking at you in that way if you start being a bit, like, blunt. So I'd say that's probably the way to do it. Just, like, gently let them go. Because um, you don't just want to be really horrible to them, do you? But, like... Why would you want to hurt someone who actually has feelings for you? That's so sad. I don't know what they're like. I mean, this person could be creepy. I get that some people do just need some space, you know. But I don't know. That just feels really, really mean. Oh, Just, I would, you know what I'd do? I'd make it so, so clear to them. I'd just make it so, so clear to them that I just want to be friends. That's what I'd do. I'd just be like, look, I'm really, really sorry, but... I only see us as friends and I'd just be blunt about it and then 
there you go you've got they, they've got them out of the friend zone into the friend zone sorry i think that's what you've got to do because otherwise they're just gonna become obsessed with you and then you're giving them false hope thinking that like it could happen when in reality you know that it never will happen so yeah i wouldn't say be horrible though that is not the way to do it um right next one i feel like we've got through quite a lot we're in like 25 minutes <clears throat> How can I tell my girlfriend to stop talking to another guy who likes her? Oh, that's difficult. If she's your girlfriend, why is she doing it anyway? I feel like this is a really tricky one in relationships and I feel like it probably happens a lot because if it's her friend, then it's a bit different and she might not know that he likes her. Like she might be a bit like blinded by the friendship there. <clears throat> you can't stop her from talking to him though. You just can't like, she's not your property. It's not something you can do, but the more you talk about it then the more you'll drive her away from you which just isn't good she'll start seeing you as controlling and possessive which you do not want if you tell her do not talk to this guy she's going to want to go talk to that guy if you keep saying don't talk to him don't talk to him because you're seeming controlling and she's going to go to this guy and be like my boyfriend's being really weird and controlling like what do i do because he's a guy friend so I wouldn't do anything that's gonna deter her from you. Um, if you can't trust her, don't be with her. That's as simple as it is. If you don't trust her, that it's not gonna go further than just friends, why are you with her? And if you know you can't trust her, maybe you shouldn't be with her. Because personally, if my boyfriend was saying like, oh my God, stop talking to that guy, like, I'd just be a bit like, why are you telling me that? Like, I'd be like, it's not really your choice who I talk to. Fair enough, you respect their opinion. And this, sh like, if she said, I'm really uncomfortable, if you said to her, I'm really uncomfortable with you talking to him, maybe she'd just steer away from him anyway. But you don't want to come across really controlling and her end up, like, going to this guy, you know? It's a bit... It's a bit of a difficult one because you don't want to drive her away from you from her thinking you're too controlling but then again you don't want to like if this is actually really hurting you maybe you should just talk to her about it and just say look i'm really sorry but this is making me feel really uncomfortable but then again i don't know if that would work like it's a really difficult situation to be honest um if all she's doing is having friendly conversations with him what's it actually gonna like what is it gonna do nothing if she's literally just talking to him as a friend then there's no problem there at all maybe you need to go into why you are so insecure about it is it something within maybe you've been cheated on in your past or something and you feel like it might happen again i don't know but jealousy is not an attractive trait i don't like it personally i don't know about other people but i don't think it's very attractive trait i don't know what other people think but i personally wouldn't like that i just wouldn't like it so it's a tricky one isn't it um right whoa okay this is really confusing I will be moving away from my hometown soon and it's unlikely that I will ever see my narcissistic ex-boyfriend who dumped me again. Should I meet up with him one last time? No. Why would you even do that? That's so strange. I wouldn't even, what? Who wants to do that? Absolutely not. No, you need to keep yourself strong, high, boom, powerful woman. No way are you going to go and meet a guy who, okay, you said narcissistic ex, I don't know, I'm just assuming the worst, but there is absolutely no way that you're going to go and meet up with a guy who's been just, ugh. You know, you don't want to see him. Unless you fancy giving him a huge ego boost, then I would say absolutely not. Like, it just sounds like you're not over him. Why do you want to go running back to him? Absolutely not. You've broken up for a reason. Exes don't stay together. No unless you want to get back into the relationship 
which you don't, you're moving away. That would be a long distance relationship with a narcissistic boyfriend, ex boyfriend. No, absolutely not. No, no way. Is that happening? Um, that, no. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying now, but I do not think that you should go back with him. Of course I don't, because I care about you. I don't know who you are, it's anonymous, but I care. Um, I feel like you need to talk to a counsellor <laughs> or a relationship therapist or something, or even just a family member or a friend, because it really seems like you still love this guy and he seems absolutely crazy. Like, I, the fact that he's got you thinking that you should go back with him, Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this happens a lot, but do not go to him and talk to him about your feelings because he's just going to draw you back in, manipulate you, and he'll do it all over again as soon as he gets bored. And I feel like, no. Do not keep chasing after men who are not worth you. Who are not worth worthy of you, that's the right word. I just think, no, that's just silly. I wouldn't do that. I would stay clear from him. I would stay far, far away from him. Um, I'd probably go move to the other country and stay there for a while. I'd block him so I don't even think about him and just like stay away. Be your own person for a while. Maybe you'll meet someone out there. I don't know where you're going, but you might meet someone. Um, just stay clear of him, please, for me. Uh, no, that's not good one. <laughs> um, right. Why? Okay, this is from a guy. Why do all the shitty guys get girlfriends and the nice guys don't? This is really sad. That's quite heartbreaking that you think that. I assume you're considering yourself one of the nice guys. Um, I'm really sorry. That's really sad, actually. Bless you. Um, that's so sweet. Anyway, I think it's because a lot of mean guys, shitty guys, have game. And they can attract girls quickly without even thinking about it because they know what girls like. Um, which is a bit rubbish because they end up getting the girls and probably breaking their hearts and the guys like you who want an actual girlfriend to be nice to them end up not getting the girls who are nice and end up with the rubbish ones um, who then hurt you. Again, being very generalistic. Generalistic. Why can I not actually speak? Generalising. Being very generalising here. Does that actually make sense? I don't know. Um, but yeah, people always say like, I reckon the shitty guys are generally the popular, confident, you know. They use the whole treat them mean, keep them keen <laughs> approach, which you know, some people are attracted to. If someone's being mean to me, I'd run in the opposite direction. Someone actually asked me the other day, um, they were like, Robin, if you, were with someone and your they basically said if your boyfriend said to you um like oh you're so shit or you're useless would you like that and i was like absolutely not no like i don't know a single person who would like that i'd be like do you mind if you think i'm useless get lost um so no i don't know i feel like it works for short term, but these kind of boys are never going to have a girlfriend in the long run. Um, and they're going to end up being really sad about themselves. And then when it comes to being a bit older, they're not even going to know how to treat a girl. And they're going to end up with no one. So don't you worry. But, oh, I mean, it takes a while for the girls to realise this. That's the only issue. Girls are dumb. <laughs> uh, but the shitty guys have girlfriends, right? They normally have the prettiest of girls, maybe not the smartest of girls because they're happy with someone who's treating them like shit, but are they the ones who marry the girls of their dreams? Absolutely not. No, they do not. They end up by themselves, as I just said, so 
would you rather girls if you're listening would you rather be the guy who was shitty and horrible to you or would you rather be the nice guy who was like your dream guy really nice obviously the nice guy so in the long run the girls want to be the nice guys so don't you worry you're absolutely fine you will be fine um right oh next one a bit confusing okay i've been hanging out with a girl for about six weeks she's had bad relationships before and we both like each other but she freaks out if i tell her i love her her last relationship was about three years ago i love her and i'm nice and respectful but if she asks me to wait for her oh and she has asked me to wait for her but there are a lot of things she needs to think about how long should i wait for her and what should i do so you've been talking for about six weeks you've been hanging out with and meeting up with her that's generally obviously the time when you would be saying i love you she knows that she knows that she had that coming for her but oh i just hit my mic i'm really sorry about that that was probably really loud um it's a really horrible one like for you as the guy um or not guy i don't know it doesn't actually specify does it but again like six weeks i feel like that's actually a really short amount of time i don't know how much you've been seeing each other have you seen each other once every every week like are you guys both at school if you're at school are you seeing each other every single day you're at the same school you're at different schools do you even live in the same town i don't know any of this so maybe she doesn't know you very well and is a bit worried that you're saying i love you and she's doesn't feel like she actually knows you but then you said that you both like each other so she must have told you that she likes you so again tricky one um if she's actually said to you that she likes you i'd be quite like oh well why are you being weird then you know it's a difficult one because why is she being weird um i think maybe stop being so stop talking about it for a bit and just chill see how things go she'll either come back and be like oh yeah i really like you after spending a bit more time together because let's face it you don't know each other that well necessarily i don't know how much you've been seeing each other but you can't know each other that well um she might feel a bit scared that you're so intense so quickly so maybe you should just back off a little bit stop telling her you love her um but you can still spend so much time together because i'm sure she, she i'm sure she still that's a bit of a tongue twister i'm sure she still wants to spend time with you she's just a bit worried that it's going too quickly girls can be like that it's not just guys who have commitment issues <laughs> so i would actually just wait a little bit i reckon but yeah stop worrying i'm trying to think of like another answer that might actually help you a bit more but i don't think there is one you just don't want to scare her away and if you know that she's had past problems she's had bad relationships before she doesn't want to rush into something she wants to know that she truly truly knows someone before like getting with them doesn't she if you guys end up in a relationship really quickly she's not going to like that because she's had horrible relationships in the past and probably just wants a bit of like reassurance that you are actually the right guy for her like you know for all she knows you could be crazy crazy mad guy she doesn't know that yet so i'd take that into consideration a bit um when like being with her because obviously you really like her and you've said she likes you she might well like you a lot she might just be a bit frightened so as i said i'd probably back off a little bit not loads because you don't want to get her thinking that you're not interested because that would be rubbish if you end up that she then feels like she can't tell you she likes you <laughs> that would be rubbish but you need to build up her trust she needs to actually trust you because she might well just be thinking this guy's just gonna leave like why does he keep saying he likes me he's just gonna leave because that's what she's had before um so i would just be 
but be a bit careful around her because you know that she's had issues with boys and she's probably a bit oh you know um how long should i wait for her i wouldn't say i don't know six weeks i don't think you've been waiting very long to be honest i don't think that's waiting at all i don't think you should feel like you're waiting around i think you should just enjoy your time with her and then it's a really difficult one i would just enjoy the time that you're spending with her at the moment um and then maybe when she's ready she'll just come and talk to you and be like by the way i do really like you she might just not want it to be so soon because it is very intense when people just keep saying how much they like you and everything. it could get a bit much you know um her last relationship was three years ago that's a very long time i don't so you're not young are you hmm I feel like you really, really need to get to know each other. Her last relationship was three years ago. I don't know why she's still unable to be with a guy, but then again, it's only been like, what's it, six weeks? I don't know. I Again, okay, my answer is give her space, but still keep seeing her, if that actually makes any sense. So, you're still going to keep seeing her as you are before but you're going to stop telling her that you love her because that is scaring her off um i reckon i reckon that's probably what is scaring her i mean i don't know because i'm not her and i haven't had like the same issues she's had with boys but i would personally say if i was like really uh, like a bit iffy about a boy I wouldn't want them to keep telling me they love me i'd be like could you actually stop please like i just want some time with me like yes i'm enjoying talking to you but i don't want to be like constantly around you all the time i'd be like ah. like stop telling me you love me and everything but um anyway that is actually where i'm gonna end the dilemma so i was like around 45 minutes that's a bit better for like a dilemma podcast i guess so i hope you all enjoyed this like dilemma kind of side to it. it's a bit different i have actually just got winter spice diffuser in my room because autumn is coming guys i actually think we're in autumn but the autumn the weather is um coming so i'm really really excited for that and yeah thank you all so much for listening if you're listening um to this podcast then thank you so much for listening make sure to give it a follow and a five star rating i'd really appreciate the ratings because then people know that it's a good one and if they should listen to it um and if you're watching on youtube then please could you give this a massive thumbs up and subscribe as that would again mean the world to me i really want to get to 100 subscribers because i think i'm on 10 <laughs> So that would be really exciting because obviously I've literally just started this. I do not have any subscribers. Um, I'm on nine subscribers. And when we hit 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time, I can start making money, which means I can put effort into the backdrop because um, I'm not sure about this. It's not really working for me. I want like an all purple background. Oh yeah, that'd be cute. Um, anyway. Thank you all so much for tuning in and I really appreciate it. Make sure to give me a follow on Instagram if you want to be involved in any of the weekly questions and also give me a follow on TikTok which is Cats Out The Bag where I'll be posting a bit more but yeah thank you all again and I'll see you next week. Have a great week. Bye!